Franny's experiments can be messy and disgusting sometimes. Mom tries to get Franny interested in stuff like dressing up and beauty products. So Franny decides to experiment with weird mom stuff. She makes a cannon that shoots makeup onto people's faces. She also invents a growth formula that makes your nails grow so long they can be used as a hammer in nails. Franny uses the growth formula on high heels so they grow 5 feet tall. Finally, she uses it on her pigtails. Now she has giant hair that moves by itself. She uses it to grab things that are far away and walk around without moving her legs. It's pretty handy. Trouble comes when it's revealed her pigtails are as greedy as pigs. They cut themselves off of Franny's head and go on a rampage through town, destroying things and eating all the hair they can find. Franny cleverly uses her formula on a ponytail, so it becomes an actual pony. She rides it into town and attacks the pigtails with a hairdryer. That just makes them fluffy and puffy. Now they're larger than ever. Igor tries to sneak up on the pigs while wearing the high heels. That is not a very smart move on his part, and the pigs eat him whole. Igor cuts himself out with a pair of scissors. Now he's a naked dog. It's kind of gross. Franny uses the formula on Igor's eyelashes. The eyelashes become so large, he can fly by fluttering his eyes. Igor and Franny fly around the pigs in a weaving pattern, and the pigtails get tied up in a giant braid. Franny holds them in place with hairspray. Mom learns Igor is beautiful on the inside, even if on the outside he's an ugly, naked weasel dog. The end. Postbook follow-up. This was written over 10 years after the last Franny K. Stein book. The artwork looks different in a lot of places. Franny's a little taller than normal, her eyebrows are less prominent, and her eyes are larger. Igor looks exactly the same, though. I guess drawing a weasel dog is a lot like riding a bicycle. You never really forget how to do it. The book is okay. I think the story was stretched out a little longer than it needed to be. I also think chapter 2 could use a rewrite. It's the longest chapter of the book, and it tries to do too much at once. There's a page where Franny wonders if Mom wants her to change. That was surprisingly emotional, sort of like the earlier books in the series where Franny struggles with fitting in. I wish the book had followed up on that and gone that route, instead of going the route of evil hair accidentally causes chaos. Even something simple like Franny makes the hair formula to make her mom happy, would have tied into a theme quite nicely. But Franny's main motivation this time around was mad science fun. Overall, it is a good book, just a little rough around the edges compared to the earlier ones, which is understandable since it's been so long since they came out. I give Franny K. Stein number 8, Bad Hair Day, a 6 out of 10.